Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragon Veil vale World where we are going to be hatching some mystery eggs today or at least one mystery egg that I am quite intrigued by something that managed to pop into our hatchery while we were busy 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 trying to breed for this absolutely fantastic talk dragon which I have to admit I'm kind of distressed that I haven't managed to snag yet I really thought that I would manage to get the talk dragon by now mostly because I've gotten very very um overconfident after all of the amazing spirit dragons that we got during the day of the dragon which as of the time i am recording this right now has finally ended and has taken with it all of the amazing spirit dragons that we managed to get access to i still want to swap out all of the dragons that we have in this spirit habitat for all of my zonkos dragons but we'll have to think about doing that another day because today we are going to hatch that mystery egg probably go ahead and hatch the nar dragon as well because i need space in the hatchery for trying to breed for both the talk dragon and the ridiculously adorable absolutely impossible squelch dragon which is so popular over in our patreon discord right now everybody is freaking out over this ridiculously cute thing i i don't even know it. i mean look at it it kind of reminds me of an ooblet from the game ooblet that's going to be coming out soon oh my gosh but it's going to be so hard to get you guys because it does require our Cancia and our Shore Dragon. And I'm beginning to wonder if they are not high enough level to be able to pull off getting the Squelch Dragon. But when it comes to high enough levels, I have gotten both our Mineral Dragon and our Frozen Dragon up to level 20. And we're still struggling with being able to get that Talk Dragon. So today, I think we're actually going to do a little bit of rushing of some of the uh, eggs. <laughs> to see if maybe with you guys here and your wonderful luck that you tend to bring into our beautiful Dragonville world, we'll be able to snag that talk dragon. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. So gather around students. We're going to now gather up our food and get the day started as usual. All right, planting down those dragon roots. That lets us know, there we go. We can grab more dragon roots before we part with one another today because that'll be ready in like four minutes. Oh, look at all the dragon side gems. And thank you once again to all the people who send me gemstones. That was very helpful because it makes me feel confident that, okay, we're gonna do this. We are going to actually use our gemstones to try rushing for the talk dragon and see if anything happens. I'm gonna cap it off like I normally do. Like I'm around 50 gemstones, which is so many gemstones, but it's worth it if it turns the adventure into something fun for you guys too. All right, let's come up here. Look at all of this dragon cache. Wonderful. We might be able to clear out some more of the areas that we need to clear with all of this. And then let's see, let's gather up from over here. We'll gather up from the sunken habitat. There we go. Somebody has a gift over there. Thank you very much, Mr. Parrot. Uh, and then, oh, we have so many dragons to raise too. One of these days, we are going to get our treat dragons fully leveled up and I'm just gonna pop in like every few hours. And the next thing you know, having millions of food to feed all of our dragons will just be the norm. That'll be so cool. Oh, look at all of this. I have been clearing out a whole bunch of the little pieces, but I've been trying to save up enough dragon cash that we'll be able to clear out the big spots. But 10 million is, is kind of a big thing. That's not really something to just shake a stick at, you know what I mean? All right, we've gathered up all of the dragon cash. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, I just, oh, can't we get the talk dragon? It's gonna be so interesting to see. Oh, and then also, one of my fantastic patrons, Lena, actually came through and she got all of the stuff that I was selling. So we do need to put more stuff up in the market. This, for those of you, I mean, come around students, come around, gather around, gather around. For those of you who are wanting to be Dragon Veil World wonderful players, you know, you want to be able to have a beautiful Dragon Veil uh, World collection. Don't neglect selling things in this spot do not neglect actually putting things up for sale because so many times so many times when i ran out of money to be able to put up food and stuff like that i turned around and i actually got the money that i needed from having sold things here in my shop so don't neglect constantly keeping this full 
But what I like to do is try to get over 10 of uh, one of the items and then sell off the excess. There we go. And I'll just go ahead and sell those. Because it, if you, oh, oh my gosh, and somebody already bought both of them. <laughs> See what I mean? Instant million, million gold coins. That was really cool. All right, so that's done. And then we are bringing in, let's see, there we go. We're bringing in that. We're actually going to rush this foggy dew because that is with our sunrise dew, lucky orbs. Uh, lucky orbs are actually better just to buy myself. Oh, wow, we're out of rainbow cauldrons. Palette, I know what you're going to be doing for the next little while, my good friend. See, and then you also need dragon cash in order to send your dragons out to be doing these things. Um, we're about to use up all of our foggy dew, but I don't have any petrified water and that sells for quite a bit too. So I'm going to send out Hoppy and everything else is okay. And then we're going to come over and let's do this. Ugh. Also a very important not to neglect my wonderful students is to make sure that you are sending off your airship or else you will not get enough mushrooms. This is literally a quest for mushrooms so that I can have some of the rare potions we need. Brindala! Set for Brindala, you're supposed to be higher level than that. Now I have to use up some of my foods. I needed those. All right, Brindala is setting forth our Glade Dragon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Glade Dragon! Oh, I kept it as a baby, I remember now. All right, our little Glade Dragon had to take all my food too. Now, Holdra, I know you, my beautiful jungle dragon. You're high enough level. So there we go. So we're looking for mushrooms in this quest of sending the airship off. <gasps> mushrooms! Yes! Oh my gosh, now we're only five away. We only need five more mushrooms. Okay, we're gonna search here. Come on, five more mushrooms, five more mushrooms. <gasps> one more mushroom, one more mushroom! We're only one mushroom away from being able to have the rarity potion. Yes! Ha! Oh, it is so hard to get, guys. Make sure you take good care of your rarity potions. Good grief. All right, there we go. We have taken good care of all of our dragons. Uh, and the next project I think we're gonna work on, let's go ahead and select this big guy and start trying to clear him. So I think the, the next project we're going to be working on away from trying to breed our dragons, and this is important to my wonderful students because you guys need to know how we are going to be taking care of our world, is to actually clear out all of this and then we're gonna start rearranging this to make that mountain range. Oh, and what should we call it? Do you guys have any ideas for what we should call the mountain range we're gonna build over here? I kind of wanted to keep the Golden Talon Bank and Trust over here as well, like next to our mech habitats. I might want to get more mech habitats, depending on how many talk dragons we get. So that's going to be fun. Uh, and then we're also trying to get to a higher level so that we'll be able to get more of the different areas cleared and expand our park. But that's something much more long term. All right. See, da, da, da. Let's go ahead and gather up the last of what we need. The dragon roots. Put down the zazberries. And now that you guys have been oh so patient, the time has come to hatch the egg! To hatch this mystery egg that I am thinking is most likely a totem dragon. But I have never hatched this before, so this is going to be very exciting for me. So let's see who's hiding inside of here. Hello, hello? <gasps> it is a totem dragon! Christina, what a lovely name! Hello, little one! You are my brand new totem dragon! I have never had you before! This is exciting! Oh, our hibernation cave is getting kind of full. Because that is actually one of the ancient dragons, and I really like the ancient dragons. Mostly because my beloved Chips happens to be a historian. He is a professor of history. Chips is my, my boyfriend, the love of my life, my best friend, for those of you guys who are wondering. So look at that! We hatched our very first totem dragon! Let's see how much we can feed him up today. There you go. Come on, little guy. Maybe I can get you up a couple levels. Or a couple evolutions, at least. Oh, he's cute! Wow, this really makes me want to go see the big totem that was actually at the Natural History Museum in Chicago. They had some really amazing Native American totems there that just 
But when you looked at them and thought about how they were made and transported and the size of the trees they were carved from, were very humbling. Holy cow, you're beautiful! I've only ever seen the baby variant of the totem dragon. I had no idea he was so complex. Wow, there's a lot of elegance about this guy. He makes me want to put down a small ancient habitat in with my stormy forest to just imagine him in there with the big storms and the ashfall dragons. Oh, he looks like he'd fit right in with them. You are beautiful. Oh my gosh, can I get you up to level 15? Probably not because I had to feed my dragons for our airship today. Oh, 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 only three? We're doing it. Only three gemstones so we can get him to level 15. <gasps> wow! I love how he has those huge fangs hidden back there too. And look at his posture. It kind of reminds me of a wolf. Wow. Okay, yeah. He is definitely really amazing. I'm very happy about that. Yes! Okay! So while trying to breed for the talk dragon, ironically, our sort of Gundam mechanical dragon, we have actually ended up with the totem dragon, a historical dragon, kind of like swinging on the two ends of extremes there. So that was really cool. And you know what, little Nor? We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hatch you two. I literally don't think, hi little guy, I'm gonna have to give you a special name too. This is kind of like a day of historical dragons, isn't it? Because the Nar dragon is somewhat of a historical dragon as well, since he looks like a little viking ship. And ironically, we had it hatched the enchanted Nar before we hatched the normal Nar. So now we have managed to get both of them. Can I come down here? Where's my little Nar dragon? There you are. Can I at least get you to level four? <laughs> because I always feel bad if they're just like, baby, 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 baby. There you go, little guy. Oh, this is so cool. So we managed to hatch two historical dragons while searching for a mech dragon. That's amazing. All right, well, speaking of the mech dragon, we're going to go ahead and spend, I'm gonna say I'm comfortable with about 37 gemstones in the attempt to rush all of this. And, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> We got another totem dragon. That's amazing. I'm probably going to keep that egg, but we're going to go ahead and rush this for about, yeah, let's see. Yeah, to about the 50. So about 27 more gemstones I'm comfortable with spending in the attempts to see if we can get a talk dragon. And I am using for the talk dragon, our beautiful mineral dragon, who I kind of want to rename Leia, and Alphon, our frozen dragon, who's actually named after Full Metal Alchemist. And they have the correct traits. They have the uh, stone, fairy, and frozen traits in the right order, which really it doesn't matter what order they're in. It just makes me feel better. But I haven't been having any luck at all with them. So I'm beginning to wonder if I should switch to something else. So let's actually check over here with our breeding and let's come down because they're giving me really mixed messages and let's see if i have any enchanted dragons because any enchanted dragons that have uh just the traits we need so we're looking for only the frozen fairy and the um the frozen the fairy and the earth traits so right here our enchanted thermal has fire trait we don't want that that's just going to confuse things uh, let's see, frozen and fairy, hmm, let's see there, frozen and fairy, frozen and fairy from our Borealis dragon, <gasps> wait, yes, I do have an enchanted Borealis, don't I? Where the heck is he? <laughs> there he is, okay, we do have an enchanted Borealis dragon, so maybe that'll work, alright, with Minerva there, and then we would need just a earth dragon, and I think think that our mineral dragon would be okay. I'm not sure if doubling up on traits is a bad thing or not. I think it'd be okay. Because maybe we should go for the dragon that has like the highest rarity after that. So let's actually try our mineral dragon because she's she's got the fairy. This may not work. <laughs> this may not be the kind of mix that we need, but we're going to give it a little go. Uh, and then we're going to very painfully speed up the eggs. Uh, there we go. All right. And we're only about, yeah, I'm almost in the range. Whoa, we have four crystals. Yes. 
Oh no! Yeah, we're just getting a whole bunch of these woolly dragons. That's adorable. It's just gonna be like the day of the woolies. Oh, and this one's only gonna be one hour. Okay, we'll do just a couple more. I should not be spending my gemstones like this. Do not do as I do. Do not do as I do. Um, what's this one? Okay, that little guy is there. Yeah, we're getting the exact same mix that we got last time, but I feel better having an enchanted dragon in on this, and we can raise our enchanted dragon to full level next time too. All right, so I don't think that's gonna work. I really, 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 really want the talk dragon. Um, and we do have a really fantastic breeding boost right now, which is why I'm willing to do this. All right, still not happening. Let's come down here. Let's go ahead and clear you out of the way. And do I have anybody? I do have somebody over here. Is it more? That's a tumbleweed. So over here, we are currently breeding the Cancia and the Enchanted Shore Dragon, the level 20, no less, in the attempts to get that Squelch Dragon. Not having any luck there. We'll focus on the Talk Dragon first, even though the Squelch Dragon kind of has my heart. All right, I'm going to do just a couple more. Don't do as I do with your gemstones. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just a couple more. Come on, you two. Come on. Nope, it's not gonna happen, guys. It is not gonna happen. All right, well, this is going to be one of those long-term projects, I think, where I need to stop spinning my gemstones so ridiculously. We literally have a woolly dragon herd now, so that's pretty exciting. And I will keep an eye on these guys. We might do a hatch potion uh, and just try to keep things moving along because this is this is a trickier dragon. We're out of the day of the dragon and all the easy dragons, and now is the time where I need to stop spending my gemstones so so capriciously because we're going to be using them for something special at the upcoming episode 100 pretty soon and i just need to be patient patience is a virtue especially when you are watching over all your dragon eggs but all right guys if you could maybe toss a like for luck because we're not having any luck with the talk dragon and it's been a couple days and I have rushed way more gemstones than I am comfortable with admitting. So it would mean a lot to me. And if you have not yet signed up for our dragon university, do please consider subscribing as we are trying, even though it's messy right now, to make ourselves some really wonderful dragon keepers. And let me know if you've had any luck with the talk or the squelch dragon, which you've probably had more days than I've had so far to uh, be able to work with, but don't worry. We'll catch up in time again in the future. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.